dear friends this is my tutorial 14 in Gaussian so in this tutorial you can learn how to do solvation energy calculation using Gaussian 09 Windows version or Linux version so in this video I'm mainly focusing on the PCM model solvation calculation this PCM means polarizable continuum model okay so this is the keyword for uh, PCM model this is the four amino benzyl decade I'm going to use uh, this system to do the uh, solvation energy calculation so I will tell you how to prepare input file for optimization and also input file for uh, solvation energy calculation okay then now uh, finally I, I will tell you how to compare the energies of gas space and the solvation energy okay so first you need to optimize your uh, system okay this is for amino benzyl decade this is the input file this is the output file so i will show you the input file first so this is the input uh, file for optimization uh, for amino benzyl decade so here you can type your name of the system here the memory and is how many cores you are going to use your uh, calculation okay so this two two terms may vary if you use on supercomputer or uh, big K com computers okay so this is the uh, root section keyword b3 loip gen sudo root gf input so here you have to mention opt frequency first this will do optimization calculation and followed by frequency calculation okay so this is the name of the system okay this is charge of the system this is pin multiplicity of the system so these are the Cartesian coordinate of your uh, system this is the x y z Cartesian coordinates okay so this is the atom present in the molecule here carbon nitrogen oxygen nitrogen present and finally you put zero okay so this is the basis set of your system 631 g star I will always use 631 g star for light molecules okay and then finally you have to put a four star that means end of the input file after after this star you have to type give some enter then you will get some phase then only the calculation will go smooth otherwise you will end up with error just you can uh, save it and submit this calculation your supercomputer or your personal pc so this will complete very shortly after completion of uh, this optimization you will get that output file so this is the output file so if you want to view output file use gas view so this is the gas view so if you want to open go to file and open go to corresponding folder this is the corresponding folder so this is the my corresponding folder so this is the dot out for amino benzyl decade one out dot out means output file dot ggf means input file okay so just click open it will open so now you will save this file for your solvation energy calculation so okay so we will save this uh, this is the optimized cartesian coordinate go to file and you click save it will save you can uh, rename solvation okay just i saved solvation so this is the optimized cartesian coordinate so we will use this input uh, cartesian coordinate for solvation energy calculation okay so i already did the solvation energy calculation just i will show you the input files okay so this is the four amino benzyl decal solvation with water so this is the input file for solvation calculation so i just mentioned for amino benzyl decal solvent solvation means okay this is the memory or this is the uh, n portion or already told now if you are using supercomputer just this will change okay other things are same this is the theory so this is the keyword for your um, pcm model uh, solvation calculation so you have to put scrf equal to pcm polarizable continuum model and read solvent equal to water so if you want to use uh, the molecular formula you can use molecular formula otherwise you can use uh, name you can also type water then you can run your calculation it will run so if you want any other solvent you can also write if you have acetonated you can type ch3cn here 
it like molecular formula it will run so if you if, if you want to write a name of the system you can type acetonitrile it will run okay so this is the thing so we, we will use for this calculation h2o okay what just to save it and you can uh, this is the um, charge this is the spin multiplicity this optimized Cartesian coordinate this is the what are the atom present in the molecule this is zero then the basis set then put four star then give enter okay now save okay this is the one types of input file for SEF uh, SE in solvation calculation I will show you the one more type okay so this is the another type okay so other things are same only just we can focus here here you see SCRF equal to PCM dot read only I mentioned I did not mention solvent okay so for that I used EPS EPS means dielectric constant so actually this is the dielectric constant of water same water molecule so I will tell you where to find the dielectric constant of uh, solvent molecule so that is very simple so go to this gaussian.com uh, slash serf slash so it will open this page first then you can uh, go to the last one if you go last one you will find um, solvent with the corresponding uh, dielectric constant so this is the water water dielectric constant is 78.3553 so I also used this calculation uh, 578.3553 okay likewise so if you want to use a student just you can type that uh, dielectric constant there it will run the calculation okay no problem so this is the two kind of uh, input file so in the input file you need to give two space so in order to put your EPS otherwise you will get error finally you need to give some space also for this okay then only the calculation will run otherwise you will get error okay that's all so we have created input uh, two types of input file for uh, solvent calculation then we have to submit this uh, input file for your uh, PC or your supercomputer you will get output files okay so I will show you this output file so this is the output file for your uh, solvation calculation so this is the keyword I what we mentioned the root section so this is here PCM read solvent water okay so if you go down so this is the input for parameters for your polarizable continuum model calculation that, that means PCM calculation parameters okay here you can see water it will print and also EPS I told you dielectric constant it will print and also the EPS INF this means uh, refractive indices okay this will also print here so the energy you need to find it go here on uh, here before the population analysis using the SCF density you will find energy this is the solvated energy okay so here you can see minus 400.9343709001 okay we will also compare with this uh, gas phase molecule okay gas phase optimized energy so we will open this is the gas phase optimized energy so we will see energy So just go down. Yeah. So after optimization, the frequency calculation will start. So before frequency calculation, you will get this kind of uh, paragraph. Okay. So you will get this kind of paragraph. From there, you will get your uh, gas phase energy. Gas phase energy is four hundred nine two two. 922 9324 so this is the solvent phase energy okay 
if you subtract these two energy you will get the solvation energy okay that is the solvation energy so if you want to do your calculation with the solvation you have to use this energy for your uh, Gibbs free energy calculation or delta H calculation or delta E calculation you have to use this value only okay so if you want to calculate your gas phase uh, delta G or delta H or delta E you can use this value directly okay this is the things next video I will tell you the another model that is a SMD model okay So thank you for watching. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment and share and also please click the bell icon for future video update. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Enjoy.